In a few hours from now, the Cricket World Cup match is to take place in the national capital. It's an important match, as any match at the highest stage of cricket always is. But we are all well aware of what's happening in the national capital of India right now. The pollution parameters are not just abnormal, they are in hazardous, severe levels across the national capital. Now, this is a new phenomenon of the last decade or so that has started affecting the sporting field. Similar issues happened when the Beijing Olympics took place about a decade and a half ago. In 2017, there was a test match in which, because of pollution, there were players vomiting on the field because the advisory that is being given to most of us is to stay at home, keep our kids home, not to venture outdoors at certain times of the day, certain times of the evening. And obviously, physical exercise, which is what sports is going to entail, is going to be a complicated aspect. Now, here's the latest update. The latest update is that uh, both the teams that are playing this match tomorrow have called off their practice matches, their training sessions. But to the best of our knowledge, the match itself is going to continue in the national capital and will be taking place in the evening, starting in the afternoon tomorrow. A 50-over match is roughly seven to eight hours on the field for the players that are involved. What you see on your screens is what happened in the 2017 test series where the Lankan cricketers were the most affected. Sri Lanka, of course, is one of the teams that is playing tomorrow. So, there is no concern as we stand in terms of the, f the match fixing actually at that point of time, which is fixed for tomorrow, to change. The fixed time for the match has not changed. The fixed date or the location for the match has not changed. But is there a concern and what can be done given the shortage of time? Joining us on the broadcast, my colleague Brian, who's outside uh, the stadium in New Delhi, in Ferocia Kotla. Nilima Joglekar is joining us. She's a former Indian women's cricket captain. Tasmin Granger is with us, who has uh, been playing for the Zimbabwe women's cricket team. Mr. Devdath is with us. He is the head coach of uh, the deaf Indian cricket team. And Dr. Sanjeev Bagai is joining us, chairman and FD of uh, Nephron. Let me try to get uh, Brian, my colleague, into this so that we can get an estimation. Brian, so can you just show us around what the, what, what's it looking like? It, it seems a touch brighter than it was this, this day, but you know, I, I don't see bright sunshine. So there is obviously some sort of haze that is still uh, uh, covering this entire stadium. Yes, Risha, we are outside the very stadium uh, here in the afternoon also. I mean, a thick layer of toxic haze has enveloped the national capital once again, forcing these um, two teams to, you know, cancel their training um, sessions. The EQI in the morning also stood uh, more than 400 and um, has made it clear that the, the, the training session was halted. I mean, even a number of Sri Lankan players had also faced respiratory issues back then, while some even vomited in the dressing room due to hazard. Uh, conditions uh, even though uh, tomorrow is a very crucial match for Sri Lanka because they are still in the in the game whereas uh, Bangladesh have been ruled out from this World Cup but yes it is definitely a very important match for Sri Lanka but um, right now as you can see the, the situation here also it's it's um, it's become a gas chamber because you know doctors are giving advisories that uh, for elderly, for uh, people, for kids to not go out of their house. Uh, but these players are in on, on the field for 50 over stretch. Um, Definitely breathing is an issue, but also um, batsmen will also face a lot of problems with the visibility because with uh, 100, 120 kilometers per hour of bowling, visibility will be uh, definitely an issue, especially in the evening and as well as even the fielders to judge the ball, um, for the batsmen also to play their shots, you know, judge the ball. It will definitely be a very um, difficult situation amidst this, this haze okay, that is so, happening. Uh, so I, as I, winters are coming close, as Diwali yeah, is also... Can you, can you just get your camera person? Because I, you know, yes, I, lo I love to see just the gate behind you, but it'll be more useful if we see the skyline. 
uh, because that will give us an indication of what the situation is today. The situation tomorrow is going to be different. It could be better. It could be worse. We don't know. Uh, but at roughly at the time when the match will is going to be conducted, which is the afternoon and, and the early evening, uh, let's have a look around, please. It'll be useful if you can actually see the skyline uh, behind you, Ryan. Definitely, Rishabh. I'll just show you the skyline here. Um, if I can request my camera person to, you know, just show yeah, the if, sky. Yeah, he should walk um, back the, and th show those us. Those are yeah, the floodlights and. Yeah, so you see, uh, I mean, you can see that still in the afternoon, it's 3.40 uh, p.m. Now, even now, there's a dense fog. It seems like it's not evening, it's not afternoon. It seems like it's early morning. And this is the situation here. Um, tomorrow might be better or might not because uh, for the eighth consecutive day, also the AQI is on a constant rise. The AQI is increasing and it's uh, no respite to the Delhiites and especially the players who will be uh, playing for 50 hours, one day, eight hour stretch in, in this uh, haze. They will be facing a lot of problems, be it. Um, the, the breathing problems or be it the visibility, judging the ball. So yes, it's definitely a challenge for the players, but yes, the times, the dates, even the locations have not been changed, um, which will cause a lot of problems to the uh, players. Yes, Rishabh, back to you. Okay, now just stay with me. Before I get the sports persons in, let me quickly get a word win for, from, a, from a doctor. Uh, Dr. Bagai, now... So I'm just I'm just putting you know the common sense uh, test here application from what my where my reporter is standing and assuming the conditions are similar and not markedly worse tomorrow from a visibility at the ground level point of view uh, you know it it seems to be okay you can see birds in the air so it seems to be okay so I don't know whether it's it's that bad that you know you can't see the ball uh, if the ball is hit in the air at a certain height, we can't say how the, the smoke will affect when the lights come on, whether there will be uh, an issue with that, we can't say at this point of time. So, uh, from a visibility point of view, it looks okay. But from playing point of view, if you were advising someone to spend, you know, five, six, seven hours in physical exercise, what are the possible issues that can happen? Good evening, Rishabh. I think this is an uh, extremely important thing which have been discussed in bits and pieces on some other channels though. Uh, but this is the first comprehensive one which is dedicated to sports and physical activity in, in, including uh, international uh, tournaments. Now what pollution is, what pollution carries is a huge amount of particulate matter. The most celebrated one in a negative sense actually is PM 2.5. But there are gases like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, SOX, NOx, methane, benzene, hydrofluorocarbons, volatile organic compounds, carcinogenic smoke, fog, and various particulate free radical matter. What do they do in the body? It decreases your performance, it decreases your exercise tolerance, it puts excess pressure on your heart, which is your cardiac and pulmonary, which is your lung systems, which decrease your lung function, your ability to run fast, your ability to think, your cognitive function, your overall performance in sports is grossly diminished. There are various studies being published internationally for the last many years, which has shown a direct correlation between increased point form in a linear graph with the particulate matter, with your decreasing performance in terms of sports, athletics, and indeed cricket in this case. I would be very, very uh, apprehensive uh, and I would be worried about uh, sports people subjecting themselves to this kind of environment. Uh, what happens in sports is you're putting an extra strain on your body. You're running fast, you're breathing fast, you're running between wickets. You're there exposed to the external environment for a good six hours, seven hours. It's bound to have an impact. Now, the question is, do we go ahead with the match? We can't postpone it, prepone it, reschedule it last minute. So it's a dilemma, but medically unsafe. Okay. Uh, now... There is, when you say medically unsafe, it could be that there's something immediately that the body reacts to. And of course, there are long-term issues which, you know, uh, which are not pertinent exactly to tomorrow. That's long-term exposure. But there might be something that immediately the body reacts to. Let me quickly uh, uh, try to get Tasmin in this. Tasmin, now, you know, you, you can see the environment around you. Does it become, because the visibility seems okay, you should probably be able to see the cricket ball. Uh, but when it comes to playing conditions and the stamina and the running in the field, running between the wickets, since you're lured for, for X number of hours in terms of concentration, uh, does it become a variable? Have you ever, have you ever you know, seen a match that is played under you know, extremely polluted uh, in, environs? Yeah, you know, personally, I've never actually been in this situation before. But I can tell you from what I've been experiencing myself over the last couple of days. And 
Um, in, in terms of visibility, you know, um, it's a lot worse in the mornings as opposed to how it's been, <laughs> how it's been looking during throughout the afternoon. And I think, um, yeah, if it, if it does thicken up the way it thickens up in the mornings, maybe visibility will be a bit hard in terms of seeing the ball. I can tell you that when the cloud cover is out and you are playing with the white ball in the night under the lights, it's harder to judge the ball. The ball looks like it's coming down faster on you. What more if you bring the clouds just slightly lower, you know, and have the ball disappearing in it and it out? It may not disappear completely, but um, it'll definitely okay, affect so we, your so we saw one match, I think, that happened in Dharamsala, which had to be, in, uh, you know, there was interrupted because of, of cloud, right? There was, a, there was a fog bank that rolled in and you had to wait for the, for, the, for the match to continue. And we know smog is a mixture of pollution uh, and fog. But on visibility, there are particular meters that's, they know that the, the light meters which are used uh, by, by, the, by the match referee and by the umpire. So th it, there is a threshold on visibility that we are aware of. We, 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 we don't, are you aware of any threshold when it comes to you know, smoke and pollution? I don't think a threshold exists, does it? Yeah, no, I don't think there actually is a fix to say that at this stage it gets too bad, you know, and people can't exactly play. But I can tell you what it does to the lungs for me personally, you know. I am an athlete, I have been trying to keep up with my training regime while I've been here in India as well. And for the past couple of days, probably last three days, I've actually stopped going out to the park to run in the mornings. And I've just opted to do the gym and be indoors because you're not able to actually take a full breath in. So when you're running or when you're doing, when you exert yourself, whether you're sprinting or not, one thing you must understand about cricket is you're not constantly running for the entire five to six hours that Correct. you're out there. But you do have moments where you need to start and stop and take quick sprints yes. and walk it out again. And it's in those moments that your heart rate increases as well. And the only way to get your heart rate to drop is by breathing properly. And if you can't take a full breath of air, that means your lungs aren't entirely going out and coming back in again as well. So that means your heart rate's not going to come down. Mm. So, 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 so it does have physiological conditions if you're, if you're playing. Yeah, it's, definitely. It's, it's, I, not, I it's not like it. football, but you mentioned... Uh, because you, it's, it is physical, act, physical activity and if either you're fielding or you're, or you're batting, uh, you have to be running at some point of time or the other. So let me get Nilima ji into this conversation. Uh, Nilima ji, it's a, it's a very uh, it's a rather strange conversation that we are having to have uh, and, a, and, a, and a different one because generally the issues are different. We're discussing the weather, whether it's going to rain, whether the pitch is going to be okay, whether there'll be dew on the outfield. Uh, but when it comes to you know, pollution, which is pretty bad right now. Uh, it's as bad as it gets uh, uh, globally as, as, as we speak. Does it have an if effect on people playing on the field? Absolutely, yes. The doctor also said uh, the same thing, that it is going to be hazardous uh, for the players. Uh, where visibility is concerned, uh, of course, the umpires are sole judges of that and they will have the light meters out if it is required and is, uh, uh, they will keep monitoring if uh, it is visibility is improving or not. Uh, but where under the lights, uh, it shouldn't be so difficult. But playing conditions, yes, I have faced that in Delhi when we played New Zealand in the one day match. But that was in the daytime, so this is in the evening. Okay, so, so Nilima ji, I wanted to ask you this question. You know, when because we we know that in the afternoon, you know, just by common sense, it seems okay that you should be able to see the cricket ball. That should not be a problem. But if there is a smog, if there is a haze, you know, does that really does the, do the lights make it better, make it worse? Is, is the, do the lights are irrelevant, or does it become more complicated with the lights on? No, uh, the lights uh, would do the trick where the light is concerned, the visibility is concerned. But something like in Dharamsala, it happened uh, where visibility was, uh, uh, lights won't help, you know, mm. even the visibility part. Because uh, uh, if that is bad, then they will have to stop the game for that amount of time. Uh, so, visibility is uh, very important and that call, uh, that can happen, uh, but the, as the day goes along, but the lights, if it is a smog, which we are talking about, uh, then certainly lights won't help there. If the visibility is okay, really yeah, so yeah, because yeah, so let me put the caveat out there. Dharamsala was completely different. That was a cloud bank. That was actually fog bank rolled in and then rolled out. And because Dharamsala is, is, is at a height, uh, in Delhi, yes, part of this is atmospheric. So part of this is the fact that it's uh, it's turning colder, 
and uh, because of that you have you know you have settling of of uh, water particles which is why you get dew uh, in the mornings uh, but also it is at this point of time a large part in uh, is 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 pollution it's just it's just smoke uh, because uh, a large part of north india uh, as we speak is on fire uh, let me quickly get uh, devdas ji uh, devdas ji now i'm pretty sure that the authorities have have figured this out so they they would have tested out the lights yesterday today they would have seen the impact that aake okay, lights are they enough are they not enough to uh, inhone apne soch soch to lagai hogi to koi match to chal raha hai koi isme concern kya rehta hai fir dekho match to chal raha hai dekho aaj practice session bhi chal raha hai bangladesh practice kar rahi hai yahan par thoda pollution ke karan thoda abhi aankhon mein chalan ho rahi hai aur hello yeah carry on awaaz aa rahi hai aapki पॉल्यूशन के कारण थोड़ा आंखों में जलन सी हो रही है आप देख सकते हो बांग्लादेश से प्रैक्टिस कर रही है बाकी जो हमारा डे नाइट मैच होगा टपकल है जैसे आज तो फिर भी अपना पॉल्यूशन थोड़ा कम है कल देखते हैं कल ज्यादा हुआ तो डे नाइट मैच में थोड़ा दिक्कत होती है क्योंकि पॉल्यूशन लाइट में बॉल कम व्हाइट बॉल से हो रहा है तो दिक्कत होती है खेलने में ये एक्चुअली होती है कि आप अभी जो आपको दिख रहा है कि जो अभी आई मीन कोहरा तो नहीं कह सकते लेकिन जो जो धुआं है इससे आपको लग रहा है कि देखने में दिक्कत होगी देखो अभी आप भी तो आज का तो आज को जैसे मौसम है उस हिसाब से तो नहीं लगेगा कल कल हम डिसाइड नहीं कर सकते कल ज्यादा जैसे कल पोल्यूशन हुआ तो थोड़ा दिक्कत तो होगा मेरे को जो लगता है बॉलिंग खेलने में बैट्समैन को दिक्कत आएगी ओके तस्मीन आई नो वी हैव टू लेट यू गो सो जस्ट सिंस इट्स इट्स नॉट अ यूजुअल अकरेंस but uh, athletes you know do train sometimes when it's for high altitude conditions where there's less oxygen i know you can't specifically train for for a polluted atmosphere in terms of in terms of smoke but uh, are there steps that athletes can take is it about keeping yourself hydrated what are steps available before i ask the doctor the same question that you can do to make it a little bit easier for yourself yeah definitely so when you're playing in places with um, a different altitude to what you used to hence the reason why you find teams when they go out to play different series in different countries will come in maybe 2 or 3 days earlier to allow themselves to climatize as well as their bodies to adjust to the conditions at hand i'm not entirely sure that you want to be out there for longer periods of time adjusting to the smoke you're inhaling or the pollution you're inhaling and think it's going to make it better on the day as well probably you definitely still want to stay hydrated at this point in time because we can't exactly measure to say what it's doing to your body physically unless we've put people in those conditions and let them train in those conditions and perform at a high intensity level yeah good point uh, but yeah it's is this is this common sense and, pra- and practice right now you and i probably wouldn't want to go on a run right now early in the morning in delhi uh, so asking people to play uh, is not at a at 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 a health risk which means that we are expecting something serious to happen but it of course is is more than a minor inconvenience and it is going to have a bearing this mean thank you very much for for joining us let let me let you go uh, let me get dr bugai back into this so dr bugai on on two very practical fronts okay that there are players who are going to be out there on the field and there are going to be audience members in their thousands it's not an india match but sri lanka bangladesh the popular teams and it's coming closer to the end of the tournament uh, to the crucial stages of the tournament so the audience will be there in their thousands uh, what are the people both the players and the audience what should they be concerned about when they are stepping out uh, you know for these few hours so uh, there are two points to this rishab one is of course you can train uh in high altitude in rarefied air which has low oxygen concentrations uh and that's what uh, the actual long distance marathon runners do uh to build body resistance to increase your hemoglobin increase your stress performance and you compensate by breathing faster so it's a match between per breath oxygen versus number of breaths you take now here the issue is when you are uh, inhaling polluted environment air you can if you breathe faster you're taking in more amount of pollutants and particulate matter and and toxic gases so you can never develop a exercise tolerance in terms of performance enhancement by training yeah harder. that makes sense yeah fair if enough. you breathe harder and faster you will be more breathless i fear that most people will have this chronic kind of cough lingering like a lump in the throat you can't take anti allergics because it makes you little groggy a little drowsy mind you also there are certain medications which are not allowed in sports uh by rule uh because they either can suppress the performance or enhance the performance so it's a tight rope walk and uh, a- apart from hydrating yourself adequately taking good nutritious food there's not much which okay, you can okay so dr rodbuga let's figure out what happened last time around when this happened and i'm i'm taking going back to 2017 when a test match had to be abandoned so the sri lankan team they showed up in 
you know what looked like N95 masks. Now, yeah. now if you, I mean, it. So we've now we are, all of us are accustomed to those N95 masks. Uh, it is not easy uh, to breathe through them. You might have to do it, but it's not easy because obviously your the mechanical effort that your lungs are having to do increases. So is that an option? Can can the players just wear a mask and come, and that will make life a bit easier? I don't think you can play professional sports at a competitive level at an international level with the N95, and the reasons are as follows. Uh, you can walk, you can go for a brisk walk, you can even have a slight jog, uh, which is more for your uh, just keeping fit. But when you're doing this kind of uh, uh, competitive sports, you cannot be wearing a mask and diving around, running around or indeed batting. You can't bowl with a mask because it's an obstruction. Uh, uh, I think this will be uh, this will be a fiasco. Okay, so the so the so we don't know. It doesn't look like masks. Uh, uh, what about the audience? Is it uh, what should they take care about? I think uh, the audience will be well advised to wear an N95 mask. I would like to tell them medically that a simple surgical mask or a thin cotton mask, muslin mask will not do. Uh, the second is uh, uh, try to avoid uh, having very deep, uh, heavy fried food because it impedes your breathing. Uh, hydrate yourself well. Take, don't take aerated drinks, but just simple water is good. Okay. And don't remove your mask. So, 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 so the audience N95 is 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 of course perfect, perfectly feasible. Okay. So let me quickly get Nilima ji back into this conversation. So, uh, 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 Nilima ji, it's it's obviously more than a minor irritation. It it's just a confluence of events that it's it's happening at this time. Maybe two three weeks later. Uh, Delhi will be fine as two three weeks ago it was fine. I know it's a it's 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 a it's a yearly thing that is now happening in in Delhi, but as a sports person, uh, how do you then get past putting this on board? Because the temptation will be there to say, "Oh my God, uh, this is you know uh, impossible and we can't function." Now that you have to play, how do you get mentally get past dealing with this problem? Actually, uh, thanks to uh, people like, uh, again, uh, most of the athletes now do take care of themselves. So they are uh, they're, uh, practicing, they are training well, so uh, their lung capacity is really good. So uh, that may help them in the situation. Of course, uh, high altitude uh, training is entirely different than uh, what we are facing here uh, but again like the doctor said with mask you cannot play you yeah. cannot play you cannot run with the mask on so that option is out but hopefully these people uh, all these athletes in the present day cricketers are so very fit and they look after themselves uh, so well that it should not make such a difference um, to them and like uh, keep themselves hydrated as much as they can of course they can't hold okay. back because they will be out there uh, to prove themselves yeah so so, um, so obviously it's problem, it's it's would want to so play. obviously it's not ideal i mean this is uh, yeah exactly. it's it's not an ideal environment to be playing anything in uh, let alone uh, i mean I, we we are asking we are asking people to stay at home uh, but uh, so it's not an ideal environment. Think, okay, yeah, ma'am, go ahead. Finish your thought. Finish your thought, ma'am. Yeah, I will. Uh, I would like to add this that um, uh, umpires have been told uh, when they say uh, it cannot be hundred percent ideal uh, weather or yeah. ground conditions, but they have to make uh, sure that the safety uh, of the players is at stake. So if that. They feel safety is good. They will take the call. Of okay. Property. Generally, the Otherwise, logic of safety is generally that listen, if you can't see the ball, then you likely will get injured yeah. by it. Uh, so generally, yeah. safety is in that regard. I don't know if the empire on the ground is going to make a call. Could but happen if if, here, if some players no. are, are are you know being are, are having a coughing fit or being you know uh, unable to, or, yeah. or or are vomiting. Uh, or having eye irritation, I don't know how well equipped the empires mm -hmm. will be to deal with that. It's 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 a difficult situation. Let's not kid ourselves. Let's not run away. Let's not hide and pretend it's not happening. It is happening. We have to deal with it because right. it's not going to go up in a few hours. Just stay with me, ma'am. Let me get Devdas ji. Devdas ji, अभी आपकी routine और regime में क्या आपने बदलाव लाया है कि जो exercises और practice और training और fitness जो आपकी routine होगी, आपकी personal routine होगी और जो आप team के साथ कराते हो uh, usme aapne kya badlav aapko lana pada hai because of this because of the pollution 
देखो अभी तो जैसे हमारी अभी रूटीन तो हमारा नॉर्मली चल रहा है अब जो जो छोटे बच्चे हैं उनको नहीं करा रहे कोचिंग जो सात साल से लेकर दस साल तक के बच्चों को उनको हमने रेस्ट दे दिया है okay. बाकी बड़े बच्चों को हमने प्रैक्टिस के लिए बुला रहे हैं अभी अकेडमी में तो बाकी इतना अभी है नहीं फिर भी हम बच्चों को कहते हैं किसी को जैसे सांस की प्रॉब्लम है किसी को ज्यादा उन्हीं तो मास्क पहन के उनको अलाव कर रखा है हमने बाकी हमारा रूटीन जो फिटनेस है ट्रेनिंग और रेगुलर जैसे चलता था वैसे ही चल रहा है ओके सो अदर देन फॉर इन सर्टन थ्रू सर्टन पीपल एडवाइजिंग मास्क एंड ऑफकोर्स यंग किड्स Uh, whose schools have also been closed uh, to advise him say no there is no particular uh, change that happened okay dr bagai last word with you sir so worst best case scenario is that it's slightly better just manageable that the players are able to come out in the field do their best put on a good show and we can get a result one way or the other that's the best case scenario worst case scenario is that it gets slightly worse and we are already at severe slightly worse means exponentially worse it gets worse Uh, what could be the potential problems the players face i mean people are talking about you mentioned the itch in the throat eye irritation we had vomiting last time uh, what is the worst case scenario that could happen just a lingering cough which can begin almost instantly within couple of minutes to exposure uh, to breathlessness lack of performance uh, lack of cognitive skills uh, basically the players if the if the pollution is really severe may not be able to play uh but just a quick word with your permission rishab yeah. i think the bcci also needs to rethink its calendar we know that november this happens we know that diwali comes end of october first week second week of november we should have the north india matches not in this period so that we are in a safer zone so that matches don't get impeded impacted preponed postponed rescheduled because of pollution it doesn't give a good image in our international calendar yeah it doesn't okay you can you can well imagine that there'll be there'll be coaches and players uh, coming from abroad will be deeply frustrated by this uh, yeah. and yes maybe the matches if, because you know the when the delhi matches were happening so far everything was fine it's just the past one week which has become really yeah. bad and we know yeah. that you know in the week 10 days uh, once uh, the the sowing season continues uh, it will yeah. become better uh, but yeah it's a, it's a complex one it's definitely one for the for the for the for the history books in terms of lessons to be learned from this the ideal solution of course would be that next year it's better and this is not a problem but but we are not there yet i'm going to thank my guests uh, for joining us on the telecast uh, the bottom line ladies and gentlemen is the match is continuing uh, none of the teams the officials have suggested otherwise uh, hopefully the the environment will be slightly better tomorrow good enough so it's not deleterious to the players who are playing on the field as what happened in 2017 uh, so let's uh, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and 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 pray for some maybe a little bit of a wind that clears up the air around the national capital for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon